Let's move on. The Ghana National Association of Private Schools has pledged to support any political party that shows the will to address pertinent challenges confronting private school operations and management. The association laments exorbitant regulatory charges, property rates and hikes in the cost of doing business. Members have indicated their keen interest in seeking redress from any political party that will show concern. Here's a report by Clinton Yeboah. Private schools in the Afija Kwabri South District of Ashanti region alone. These schools complement government's efforts to expand access to education for all school-going population. The schools, however, feel sidelined in the rollout of some government's policies in the education sector. Chairman of the Ghana National Association of Private Schools in the district, Nicholas Bambuni, says members are being suffocated with exorbitant charges for providing services which in some cases ought to be free. He is calling on authorities to abolish nuisance tax, scrap the 30% priority placement system, and reveal operational charges from the National Schools Inspectorate and the National Teaching Council. They should scrap that 30% out of it. They should make sure that this BEC, with the registration, last year, 170 cities. This year, do you know how much they are collecting? 214 Ghana cities. NTC is taking 250 Ghana cities from our teachers to, in order to register them. Because they say if they don't register them, they will not allow them to teach. 250 Ghana cities. Where are they going to get this money? Nasia is taking 800 Ghana cities from our students, like from the schools. 800 Ghana cities every year. 800 Ghana cities. You go to a school, we have about, maybe they have about 200 students. 200 students. He's going to pay the teachers from it. He's going to pay SNIT from it. You are telling them to pay 800 Ghana cities. How are they going to get the money? So what happens is, when the placement comes, they will give the allocation for private schools, 30% for, for government schools. And ours will now be shared with 70% with the government schools again. So at the end, our schools, our students don't get the A schools. Nicholas Bambuni spoke at the Ghana National Association of Private Schools Week celebration. He indicated the association's readiness to support any political party that captures the concerns in its 2024 manifesto. And that is why we are saying this year, we as private schools are going to play politics. This year, we are ready to play politics. And people should not joke or underestimate our numbers because... If you look at our numbers as we speak, even the tertiary, the learner population, we have about 1.5 million. Even the uh, students too, we have over almost 200,000. So we are not here to play. This year, election year, my brother, private schools, we are going to play politics. The education director of Efija Kwabri South, David Akomia, highlighted the positive roles of private schools in the district. While calling for external support, he assures the association of a dialogue to look into the concerns raised. Say, assuming of this in 2022, there has been a total collaboration with the private schools. The fact being that they are all helping to educate the Ghanaian child Just every year. So I will play with the authorities that maybe if it cannot be a wholesale, but they can look at situational issues in terms of district wise. Because if you come to Fidel Kwabri, like I'm saying, we have over 300 of them, about a thousand people registered for BEC. But you go to a different district, there might be maybe two or 300 or so people. So I will suggest that if they can look at it, then look at it on basis of the number of schools in each region, but in each district, so that something can be done about it. Reporting for Joy News, Clinton, Yabo.